welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to share with you guys how to decorate your dough bowl. Um, this is just a style that I really liked. Um, and you don't have to do it this way, but it's just an idea of how you could style your dough bowl. But before I get started, don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends and tell me what you want to see next. But let's get started. <music> Spanish moss inside the dough bowl because Spanish moss gets really messy really quick. Um, but right now, this is like a medium sized dough bowl. It's a pretty good size. That's the bottom of it. Just your average dark brown dough bowl. So what we did is I put Spanish moss in the middle of the whole entire dough bowl. So the store I went to, um, they give you like a really big bag of the Spanish moss. It's just a local store that's in my town that I went and checked out. Um, they have lots of home decor items, but what I did is they asked for Spanish moss and they gave it to me in a bag. Um, I can link down below where you can get your Spanish moss. Um, I will find a bunch of links of where you can get these items. Um, it might not be that store in particular, but um, where you can find these items to recreate this look. Unless you already have these items and you just don't know what to do with your dough bowl. So, we put the Spanish moss in the dough bowl, spread it out. Um, it's just like a little handful like this. And then you just sit it in there and like kind of play with it a little bit um, to give it that fullness look. So now I also got this hanging vine plant that came on this stem here. You can put this in whatever, but I wanted to create a wreath. So what I did is I cut um, just a little piece off right here to give it that look of its own little string of floral. So that's what I did here because what I want to do is I want to have a ring for the candle. So what I do is I cut it and then I will place it in the dough bowl with the Spanish moss sort of like that. Do the same. I cut another string off uh, maybe you guys can find just this already cut. This is like a botanical. It looks real. Um, and it feels pretty real also. But to give it a, you can leave it with just that one string that you cut. But to give it a fuller look, I wanted to use two. So I just laid that on top like that. The store, they had, um, some tea light candles. This one actually feels like wax on the side and it's just a flickering candle. Right now I have it on. This is off so you can kind of tell what it looks like. And then the light look stands up and beams against this um, little fire looking stem thing right there. So see this is on. It's kind of flickering. It looks so good at nighttime. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick it in the center of the reef that we just created like that. So this is kind of what we got going on so far. The regular dough bowl, your Spanish moss, the reef we created with the botanical hanging um, florals, and then we have our tea light candle. I'm going to turn it towards us just so you can see it a little bit better. But this is what we have going on so far. So you can kind of see it right here. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this box wood ball. You can also for Christmas hang this on your Christmas tree. Um, that would be super pretty too. Just an idea to throw out to you guys. Um, but this is just your regular box wood ball. 
This guy, I believe, was $10 at the little boutique I went to um, that I will link down below where you can find these if you don't know where to find it. So what I'm going to do is um, right here we have the light with all our homemade wreath. And so now I'm going to stick this boxwood wreath right behind it like that. So you could kind of see like the gr two different greens and textures going on. So far, so pretty. And then do is I'm going to take this vined ball. I'm not sure what the correct term is for this. Let's see if I can find it. Oh, it's a vine ball. <laughs> that was right. Um, it's just a brown, dark brown vine ball. They also have these in a lighter color, but since the Spanish moss is already light, um, I wanted to take a darker brown just to kind of gravitate on the darker dough bowl style. So, I got three different sizes. I would say this is the large, medium, and small. Small. So, what I'm going to do is the boxwood is back here. I'm going to, like, lay this in here, but don't, like, cover up the candle ring up too much because you kind of want that to show because it's just so pretty. And then you're going to take the smaller one and just basically level it out in there to your own particular taste. But look how pretty and cozy this looks. And you're not going to have to worry about any wax getting all over your greenery and your moss or your dough bowl because it's fake. But it still has that beautiful look to it. So this is what it looks like in the dough bowl with the Spanish moss and all the beautiful decorations. This is the finished I hope you enjoyed this quick little video of how to style your dough bowl. This is just the medium size. You can do a large size too if you've liked. Um, I will make a video of how to decorate a smaller one. This is a smaller one, but I'm thinking about using it to for my keys, um, just as our key dough bowl. But I can also share a video on how to decorate a smaller one. If you want to see how to decorate a smaller dough bowl, comment down below and I will totally do that video for you guys. But before I go, don't forget to subscribe, share with your friends, and comment down below. But tell me if you've liked this. Thanks for watching. Bye.